Wow, the response for the $400 PC build was stupendous. So I did my research and yeah, not really possible to get it under $400. It is, however, possible to get it secondhand and you replace a few parts here and there. But I didn't want to do that because it has its own set of problems. But if you want to see that, do give this video a thumbs up and comment that you want to see it. So I'm going to do the next best thing, $500 PC build budget gaming at the end. Right now I'm in Simlim, I'm going to the same store as I did last time. I did do my research and it will cost about $497 new. And when I say new means like new technology like that. I think it's called Skylake, DDR4, you know, all the new stuff but it's, ch it's cheap. And new. So let's go lah. Let's see the parts. Right off the bat, there were two problems. First, the motherboard that I wanted was sold out. So I have to get the motherboard that take the Skylake processor, but with DDR3 RAM, which can be a good thing. I'll explain it back in the office. Secondly, I had a miscommunication with the store clerk and didn't manage to get a SSD. But other than that, everything was smooth and it only took like 30 minutes to get all the parts. And back to the office, the total cost of the Simlim trip was $470 without the SSD or HDD. So I'm going to use an old Samsung 850 EVO 250GB SSD for now which costs around 140 ish but you can buy the 120GB for below $70 so the choice is yours. For the CPU I decided to go for the Intel Pentium processor G4400 using a stock cooler just cause it was cheap but if you do have the money do consider going for the i3 or i5 processors because this processor will bottleneck on some games. Next the motherboard like I said I had to go with one that had DDR3 RAM and the good thing about this is if you have all set of DDR3 RAM lying around you can save up not buying RAM but if you really want to get the DDR4 version do call up your store of choice and check for availability. For the GPU, I choose the Zotac 1052GB. This was surprising because it was cheaper than the 750Ti with a lot better performance. So yeah, not too bad. For the RAM, I got a low profile Kingston 1600 DDR3 8GB. Power supply, Hexa plus 450W. I would like to say that this might be the best value PSU in the market. It's non-modular so cable management will be a pain. And lastly, best buy of this build is the case. Techware F3. When I saw the price of this case, I was like, confirm got no fans that come with it. Or confirm got no backspace for cable management. To my surprise, it has everything that I expected on, from a mid-tower case. It even has two fans. So I'm gonna give this a 5 Julian stars out of 5 for this price range. So all in all, this PC will cost $538. The thing about building your own PC is that you pick the parts. So if you want a better GPU or a better case or more storage space, you can decide what you need. But a big recommendation to this build is to upgrade the CPU to an i3 or i5. Next, I tried to get Windows 10 from third party sites, which I don't recommend because the code they give you has been activated. You still can activate it and it does cost a lot less but use it at your own risk. Now, the most important part of every build. How well does it run? This time, I use a better benchmarking using games like CSGO, Dota 2, Bioshock Infinite and Battlefield 1 and wow, I am super surprised at the result. It could run almost everything at max settings, average 60 frames per second but wait, huh? Not enough benchmarking? Does it run crisis? Yes, it does. It can give you 30 frames at ultra settings, which is a lot better than consoles in the market. It's still playable at 30 frames. You gotta admit that. Conclusion, I don't usually do budget builds because personally, I do a lot of video editing and it needs a good computer to do that. But this has been a pleasure to build. I would have loved to have a better CPU and a motherboard that uses DDR4 RAM. But I think for our first budget PC, it's not too bad. And special thanks to your local production for sponsoring this video and making this possible. If not, I got no money to. Anyway, I put all the parts and what I recommend in the description below. If this video was helpful, do give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to ask any question if you want. And do click here for more. And do click here to subscribe. Your local production showing you the side of Singapore you wouldn't think of. Check in the link in the description to find out more.